All right, guys, Maurice Lavelle Wilson, BKA, the master of Blue Pill Disaster, AKA MGTOW Master Reese. All right, guys, I want to alert you to this story I was reading on Market Watch. So, there is a dentist, 60 year old dentist. He says his wife is 56. I have been very diligent in working toward my plan to retire at 61 and am ahead of the game. He's saying his $750,000 home is fully paid as is his $450,000 vacation condo. He says I will have at least $5 million in a combination of retirement funds and non-qualified investments when I retire at the end of 2022 and sell the other half of my practice to my business partner. Okay, guys, the dilemma is he has two daughters and a wife and a four-month-old. His 30-year-old daughter has a four-month-old and is working as a dental hygienist for me. And the other, a single 26-year-old fully employed nurse who is currently living with us, but will be moving out once the housing market cools a bit. Guys, I, I'm going to leave the link in the uh, description section. But basically, this guy's dilemma is his wife and his two daughters don't want him to retire. Take a guess. We already know why. They don't want him at the house. This man has paid off his house, both of his houses, and a vacation home. And his wife and his two daughters don't even want him there. And his own shit that he done paid for. Can you believe the entitlement of these women guys? You listen. This a old school man that has gotten married. I always tell you guys, this chivalry shit, this believe that your grandparents and your great grandparents were living in bliss is some fucking bullshit. Five million dollars in retirement accounts. And he still got to deal with this bullshit from his wife and his entitled daughters. And you guys today think that you have a tenth of a motherfucking chance with these belligerent women today. These entitled women. These single mother black women who are single mothers at the rate of 70 to 80 percent these women that demand expect and demand chivalry when they are are not feminine at all they're more masculine than my ass is women that own almost 70 percent of the trillion dollars in college debt the same women that are going around here whoring like crazy and they want you to accept it. <laughs> the same women that want you to take care of their single mother kids but don't want you to discipline them. The same women that family won't respect you when you try to come in and do right by her. These are the women that you guys are fighting so damn hard for. These are the women that you say that I'm misogynist. Nobody wants me because I'm old, I'm fat. These are the women that you guys are taking up for. These women today are youthless useless men if this man's wife at 60 years old has a useless wife 
God damn it, what do you think you have today? And this guy is a millionaire. Some of you don't even have a thousand dollars in any retirement account. And you think your game, your holding masculine frame, you think pedestalizing women. If it ain't you exerting your masculine frame, you think cow time for women. You think that if I tell her she's a black queen, that it'll be better. Come on, man. You can't be that ignorant. I was on Coach Red Pill's uh, channel. I think this was the first. No, it's not the first time. I called him some time ago. I didn't realize it was him, though. Coach Red Pill. He was talking about a book, Sex and Culture. And I just ordered that book off of Barnes and Noble. And he basically explained that in every society, as societies get rich, they're lenient. And they start to let women just go and do whatever they want. And guess what happens? All this free sex and, and letting women be entitled, guess what happens? You end up falling because the system can't support all this freeness that's going around. Free money. Free sex. Guys, these women are too entitled. There's nothing you can do. You're just going to have to let the system fail. And when the system fails, you're off in the corner with your ducats. Just fucking them. That's it. You cannot save them, guys. You can offer them a 100-inch dick on a platter, and that's not enough. They're going to want a 200-foot, I said inch or foot. You can give them a 100-foot dick on a platter. They're going to want a 150-foot dick or a 200-foot dick. You can lay them $150 million on a platter. They're going to want 200 they're never satisfied, guys. They are voracious creatures that you can never satisfy. And I don't know why you guys haven't learned it by now. You got Dr. Dre right now. Had a, a, a what, you, what you call that shit? A prenup. He still got to pay his wife $100 million. And not only did he does he have to pay a hundred million, he's already been paying her millions of dollars in spousal support. And he had a prenup. Now what makes any woman think that she is entitled to your money? Did she was she the business partner? Was she alongside him, helping him? come up with beats? Was she producing any tracks? Was she out there in the streets when Dre risked getting his head blown off? Was any of that? Was she there for any of that? Guys, you can keep on being idiots if you want. I'm, I'm still going to be dropping this, this red pill content. I'm not going to live with these bitches. I will never marry these bitches. I will never cohabitate with these bitches. And I hope I never ever get one of them pregnant by mistake. But I sure enough damn ain't intentionally living, marrying, and getting in relationships with them guys. You are a fool. In this day and time, if you believe that you can satisfy these creatures, again, I'm leaving you the link to that article on Market Watch. Can you believe this man is going to retire at 61 years old and his wife has the audacity to tell him, I don't want you to retire yet. His wife probably getting piped down. 
his 56-year-old wife is probably getting skeeted and drizzed and jizzed on. That's why she don't want him at home. She wants to live like a single single woman. That's why she don't want a wife at her husband at home. She wants to be able to do the things that single women do. Guys, don't do it. Don't do it. I hate to be one of I hate to see one of you guys that have called me misogynist and gay. No, no, no. I would actually like to see you guys that call me misogynist and gay. And someone said now uh left a comment which YouTube didn't allow it to go through. It was a female, I think, that said, you know, guys today are getting famous off downing black women. Bitch, I've been making motherfucking red pill content for probably the last two, two and a half years. So this isn't anything I just started. I've been on this red pill shit, and it ain't downing black women. It's about telling the truth. That's what the red pill is. It's the truth. It's that reality shit. And I don't give a shit, a fuck, a motherfucker if you don't like it, bitch. There will be no reason I could, I would be able to report about this if you black women weren't acting out. That's just like, Black folks get upset with the uh, news agencies for reporting crimes in the hood. Motherfucker, stop committing crimes in the hood. In the news agencies, the reporters wouldn't have anything to fucking report. But there's no turning back. Black women. I say black women, but I'm talking about all you women, especially here in the U.S. Black women have a lot of you beat. They have all of you beat as far as their fuck-ups, but you're still fuck-ups also, white women, Asian women, Puerto Rican, Latina, Hispanic women. you all fuck-ups too. You're all entitled. You think you can fuck? All you want to, and there's no repercussions. You think that you can spend all your money, you can go into all this college debt, and the government is supposed to come and save your ass. See, I was smart enough when I came out of high school. I was like, ah, that shit just don't add up. All this college debt. I even knew then, ah, I don't want to pay that money back. If I don't get a scholarship. But women. Again you live life on easy mode. You always figure a simp. The government. Your family. Your cousins. The dudes you're fucking. The dudes you marry. Are going to come to your aid. And bail you out of whatever predicament you are in. Guess what? It's not happening. Little tink tink. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm up out of here. Peace out.